autopsy. Call it. Time of death. 8.08 p.m. 5.25.2020. Cause. Asphyxiation. Liberty has been slow, suffocating since 1619. Her green chest cavity cracked open. Pride wide with butterfly clamps and history's moth fluttered out from her ribs, migrating its way to the light enticed by the hope of exodus. Only to realize her torch is not lit. Did you know moths intuitively move toward any light source because deep in their being they believe it's the moon and it's in their nature to follow its pull. The same naive hope as every human brought to these shores gets sold as the American dream. And if we're talking biological progeny, all humanity started in Africa and diaspora scattered as different ways. So like it or not, race haters, black is in your genes. But fathom what it's like being part of those brought here unwillingly. To be black and tired in America, exhausted by grief, stolen from a kingdom so full of light, driven into darkness in the bowels of aching ships, enslaved and whipped for centuries. Forever moving toward some ideal, but when you seem to reach it, she switches hands. And the raised arm lowers, unholsters, her torch becomes revolver, aimed at the mouth, and before you can speak, you are filled with rounds denser than iron. And Juneteenth's on the horizon. And the tweeter in chief wants our free folk to know any time they speak for themselves, they'll be squelched and embalmed. His tiny, demon, Dorito, nacho, cheesier, dusted hands threatening in 240 clumsy characters to shoot each looter, but won't include himself and the other billionaire thieves amongst those pillaging. When really rapists, looters, and opportunists is all they've ever been. In a police state, Who's going to police? The police. These stormtroopers of imperial rule. But we keep the peace within our communities. Unity, our tongue, fluent in the dialect of talk yo shit and I got you. And yet despite our camaraderie, martial law has been declared on all those in possession of melanin. Despite CNN and Fox's fetish for war, this revolution, this revolution, this revolution will not be amplified, televised, IG live by left and right wings of the same beast. No good can come from this virus gone viral unless we hold vultures accountable. We will shake the tree with all the force of gravity and the apples which fall wearing riot gear will have to fear us for once. Listen, Karen. I will not define why all lives matter is racist to you again. Using a house is on fire metaphor. It is your job to self-educate. Y'all want to know why riot when we protest? The very same reason you ask to speak to our managers. Only in this establishment, the management sucked for 400 years and the disenfranchised no longer work on tips. Is it really that hard to comprehend that if people don't like being murdered just for being them? George could not enter a store. Brianna can't rest. Maud could not jog. Tamir couldn't play. The Charleston Nine didn't get to pray. And Trayvon couldn't walk without someone reaching into their mouth and examining teeth to see what kind of stock they are. Surely, we've come so far since Jim Crow. Only now, murders of crows are picking bones clean before the autopsy. Tweeting birds spreading word of carcasses not to be watched in Central Park because birding while black may get you killed too. Perhaps the cure to the four-century plague lies in the lighting of a torch once used to scorch and singe. Folks marching in unison, all shades of woman, man, trans, and non-binary, given the air breathed from every lung in America, we are exhaling these fumes for you, Tony McDade, Atatiana, Marsha P., Philando, Amadou, and Sandra too will douse our fuel onto the wick and spark the flint because the more oxygen you feed a fire, the brighter it burns and we are through allowing air to be choked from the lungs of those suffering. This blaze will tattoo Black Lives Matter into roots of earth, turning this stolen morgue to kindling to begin again because the founding fathers done fucked this whole social experiment up. 
and we the people are here to reboot America. And with this season, a whole new cast that truly looks like the waves of black, brown, amber, and every shade light as an allied fist raised to stand hand in hand across this land which is finally alive and yours and mine. Just as that broken song once declared.